Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, which you probably don't, I'm Catherine and I like reading and I like talking to myself because I have nobody else to talk to. So you guys are my besties from now, from now on, okay? You guys are my besties. It's literally, it's literally, it's 1 p.m. I just finished working out and taking down all the Christmas decorations in our house, which is sad. That Christmas is over. I'm so sad. I think I'm going to organize my bookshelf today. We can talk about my books that I've been reading and that I finished. And we can just hang out as friends, as besties. Oh, before we start talking about books, I watched Anyone But You. It's like the rom-com with Sydney Sweeney and Glenn Plowell. I love Glenn Plowell. It was pretty good. I'm a very big rom-com person. Like, my favorite rom-com is... 10 Things I Hate About You All The Way. I love that movie so much. So I had high expectations and it was pretty good for like a modern time rom-com. It was kind of not funny. <laughs> I think my sense of humor is like very specific. So it's hard to make me laugh during a movie. So it was okay, but I liked the ending a lot. I thought it was a really cute rom-com and I felt very single throughout it all, but that's all right. As for books, I just finished Air of Fire. I, that was my favorite book in the Throne of Glass series by far. I loved like the different storylines from like everyone's like perspective. Like we have Aelin and Rowan, which obviously is my favorite storyline. And then my second favorite is Manon. I love Manon, so far I do. And then we have like Kale's kind of storyline perspective and Dorian's. I liked Dorian's, my heart, was crushed at the end of Air of Fire for Dorian. I won't say why, but I was just just sad. But I'm very excited for Queen of Shadows. I was, I just broke the lid off. I was about to start Queen of Shadows, but I thought that I should just take it slow because I, I'm already pretty much halfway through the series and soon I'll be done it. And I never want the series to end because I love it so much. I'm currently reading um, I'm currently reading One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig. I'm almost done. I'm on page 296. I absolutely love it. That book is like what I mean when I say that I like romance subplots because it's not heavy on the romance. Like there's still like an actual plot and I really enjoy it. I think it's a really cool storyline. I was kind of confused in like the first two chapters, but it's pretty easy to pick up once you're past that point. I love the characters. I love Raven. I like Elm, and yeah, it's a good book, so I would recommend, and I love the romance subplot. Also, going back to, I was about to say Avatar, going back to Throne of Glass, I know I just met Rowan in the last book, Air of Fire, but I knew I was going to like him from the get-go. I know he was a, I mean, he is an asshole. I like him, and I know I will be obsessed with him. I just know it. That type of character I feel compelled to like for no particular reason at all. So I'm very excited to see where his storyline goes. And I felt bad for him. So yeah, for some reasons, you know, you know why. I think after I do my makeup, I'm gonna make myself something to eat because all I had today were two eggs and a heck ton of arugula. <laughs> and I'm going to finish One Dark Window because it's a pretty fast read. The font is pretty big and it's very easy to like pick up. So it's like really fast and it's flying by. Like I only started it last night and I'm, al I'm almost done it. I think I have like a hundred pages left. So I'll finish that while I eat my lunch. And then I think we can organize my bookshelf. I got some new books yesterday in the mail. So I'll show you what I got. And yeah, I'm just gonna finish my makeup. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm done doing my makeup. So let's go eat because I'm hungry and read because I love this book so far. Let's go. Mm -hmm. One Dark Window. I'm speechless. This book fit my expectations. Holy cow. Holy cow. This is a five-star read for me. The mystery 
and the plot and the characters immaculate like all together the romance subplot I love me a romance sub subplot and this was so freaking good I literally I need to read the second one now but I'm gonna chill for a bit I love the characters. I love Elm. I love Raven. Elspeth. Fuck. Dude, I need to read the second one like now immediately. That was that was crazy. The ending. Nightmare. That little I have no words. This was such a good book. If you want a good fantasy, mystery, romance, alluring book, this is it. This is so good. Okay, I'm shook. I'm gonna take a quick like Netflix break because you gotta watch Netflix you know sometime in the day and then we can do my bookshelf because I've been meaning to clean it I literally have books on my floor because they don't fit on my bookshelf and I can't buy a new bookshelf right now because we're trying to sell our house so like what's the point of me building a bookshelf and then taking it down like a month later just to move houses I'm not gonna do that so I'll just keep it on my floor so we'll organize that later. I'll show you the books that I got yesterday. I forgot about that. I'll show you the books that I got yesterday. This is actually one of the books that I got yesterday and I already finished it. So, okay. I'll be right back with a book haul, I guess. A mini book haul. Yeah, be back. I am light as a feather and as stiff as a board. I pay attention to things that most people ignore. Okay. Um, I got some books yesterday. As I mentioned, like, five times already. Um, well, I already told you, I got One Dark Window by Rachel Gillog. Finished it, five stars, loved it. I also got this, the second one, Two Twisted Crowns. It's the second in the duology of the book I just read. I'm very excited. There's nothing else really to say. And then I got Betting on You by Lynn Painter, which is my second Lynn Painter book I own because we all love Better Than the Movies. I haven't seen one person not like that book. I just think it's so cute a cute YA. I don't really know anything about this. I know it's a fake dating trope and maybe enemy to lovers. I'm not really sure but the cover's cute and Lynn Painter slays. Funny story about this. I finished Ghosted by JM something. I forget honestly. I forget. Um, I finished that book and it was a single dad and I ate it up. So then I was laying in bed one day and I searched up single dad books and this came up. So I bought it. Unironically. I'm excited to read it though. And lastly, I got A Darker Shade of Magic by V. E. Schwab, which is the first in a trilogy, I think. I've never read V. E. Schwab's writing, but I've been wanting to get into it. So I heard the most about this trilogy, so I picked up the first one, but I'm excited to read it. I'm kind of scared. I've never read anything by V. E. Schwab. But hopefully I like it. So we'll see. Um, those are the books I got. They're just laying on my floor. So I think I'm going to organize my bookshelf. Usually when I get new books, like even just one book, I take down everything on my bookshelf. And then I reorganize it just because of that one book. Which is a really bad habit of mine. There's no point of me taking down every single book and then putting it all back up just for one new book. So we'll see how I go about this. Yeah, okay, let's organize my bookshelf shelf is kind of confusing. I kind of like romances up here, like cute little romances. Okay, those aren't romances. If you see, these are books that I disliked. Well, I like this one. Okay, see, even I can't explain what's going on with my bookshelf because it's so confusing. I have like fantasies here. I have all like the mortal instruments, if you can see, down here, and Percy Jackson here. Also, I love Percy Jackson so much. I've reread Percy Jackson like maybe five times, maybe six. I love it so much. My babies. And they're kind of torn up, but I love them. I have books that I couldn't fit on my bookshelf here in no particular order or way. We literally got Heartstopper. We have A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime. We have some Sophie Lark. We have a poetry book. Like, it's all just in a mess, but my big shelf is actually kind of organized. I have Sarah J Mass, obviously, on one big shelf. I have Throne of Glass. I have my special edition Akatar book. Uh, we got some fan art there and Akatar. And then below it, I couldn't fit it on the same shelf. So I have Crescent City and my other copy of Throne of Glass. And then I have kind of like some of my favorite fantasy books like Atlas Six, Powerless, Divine Rivals, 
I'm not a big fan of um, fourth ring. I did like the first one, but I DNF'd Iron Flame because I was so tired reading it. It was really boring, so I never finished it. And then we have um, Once Upon a Broken Heart, that series, and Caraval, which I've never read in my life. Um, I don't really have any interest in reading it, but who knows? We'll see. And like up here, we have Harry Potter, some Legos of Harry Potter, Divergent. I don't even like the Divergent books. I think they're really bad. And then I have another Harry Potter Lego. And then below it, I have My Babies, my Addicted series. I love that series so much. I still have to read Some Kind of Perfect. I never read it because I don't want the world to close. I know there's like a spinoff series, but I'm not going to read those. I have no interest in reading the spinoff series. So I don't think I'll ever read this because I'm just, I'm scared. I have my Magnolia Parks right next to it. I love Magnolia Parks. I'm halfway through The Long Way Home and I haven't read it or picked it up in like a few months. Not because I didn't like it, but just because I was interested in fantasy at the time. So I never finished it, but maybe I will for a video. I have Things You Never Got Over by Lucy Score here. I liked it. I thought the whole twin thing was weird and I wasn't really attached to any of the other characters so I never continued the series but I might one day. I don't know. We have Flawless and I read the second two books on my Kindle and I haven't read the, the fourth one or fifth one yet. It's okay. I, it's all right. Icebreaker I absolutely despise. I hate Icebreaker with my whole entire heart. These are like my hockey romances. I like sports romance but I only like hockey romances because I like hockey. Icebreaker I hated. I never read Consider Me or Play With Me. I might. And then we have the Off Campus series which is which I used to like but if I go back and like look at it I don't like it. But like it was entertaining at the time. Down here I have like Stalking Jack the Ripper like that series. I never read that. I got it on Book Outlet that's why I bought it. It was like $20 for four books and I thought that was a steal. We have The Inheritance Games and The Hawthorne Legacy. I read both. I wasn't interested in the story, so I never read The Final Gambit. We have Defy the Night, Defend the Dawn, and Forging Silver into Stars. I never read this one. I read Defy the Night. I enjoyed it. I still want to read Defend the Dawn, so I'll probably do that sometime. I love, I love this book so much. If you haven't read Carissa Broadbent's books, I highly recommend you do. This book was so good. I feel like it's so underrated. I read all three. I think it was three in the series. The second and third one were okay, but the first one, Daughter of No World, so good. The MMC in this is literally textbook book boyfriend. Like actually I love Max so much. You should read this book. I love it so much. Um, we have Prison Healer which I never read yet so maybe I will for a video because that's very popular. We have If We Were Villains. We have Six of Crows. I've never read Six of Crows or Crooked Kingdom so I will also do that for a video because I have FOMO and I've never read it so yeah. Quill Prince, which I'm halfway through. I haven't finished it, but I will eventually, I think. Shatter Me. I'm not a big Shatter Me fan, I'm not gonna lie. The first book, the first and second book were good, and then I was, I totally lost interest the rest of Shatter Me, so it's all right. I don't really like it though. <laughs> and then down here is like Mayhem. Like we have like the Hunger Games, like, <sighs> like Twilight, I have my Twilight books hidden behind the stack. I'll show you later. Yeah, it's a mess down there, so let's try and fit my new books in somewhere. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my god. This seems so wrong. I put the roommate next to Dance of Thieves. As long as it fits on my bookshelf, I, I don't care. I'll do like a more in-depth clean out sometime. I literally have dark like books next to the Love Hypothesis. I should probably fix that. I hate this book with my entire heart. I hate it so much. It's so bad. This stack makes no sense at all. It's just books that I, like, I can't. Here's my bookshelf in full stone. I just put my one dark window over here um, for now because I want to get rid of this romance shelf and, like, move this one up here. But I'll do that some other time. I think I'm going to read Two Twisted Crowns out, which is the second to one dark window just because I'm really excited for it. So, yeah, okay. It's a mess, but we'll leave it. Okay, update. I'm on page 74, chapter 11. I'm obsessed with Elm and Eon. 
I've been pronouncing it as Ion, but I was like, that sounds completely wrong. So then I've been pronouncing it as Ion. Ion. Ioni? Ioni. Ioni. Ioni sounds right. No, Ion. Ion. I don't know. Um, I'm obsessed with with this so far. This is great. I have a theory about the gray-eyed child among the yellow-eyed children. Oh, Elm just saved Eon from like the chalice, the chalice um, truth serum. And I really like their bond that's going on. I'm eating this up. Um, we'll read some more. today because we were out slacking we were out the entire morning we we're getting food going to the mall and now we're going to the mall again so i might go to indigo and then i'll read later and maybe finish the book because i'm almost done it i was gonna end the video right there but i ended up finishing two twisted crowns while i was editing the video the best thing they did in this book was add Elm's POV. I, was, I wasn't I was sure at first. I was like, oh, I wanted more of Elm. Even though we got a lot, I just, I loved his character and his perspective and his storyline with Eon. I loved it so much and he got everything he deserved at the end. Truly. I love it. This was, I'm gonna leave it four stars just because I wish that Raven and Elspeth kind of had more at the end together. If you know what I mean. If you read this, you know. I just wish they had more, I don't know, like maybe like a chapter or more when it was just them two and not Nightmare. But I loved it so much and I'd recommend you read this duology. This is how you write a duology. It is so good and I loved it so much. Okay, I'm gonna end the video there. This video is kind of chaotic, but it was fun to make, so I don't care. Um, see you later.